Today we're gonna to talk about the absolute best food for chronic sinusitis. Now, there's nothing worse than having a sinus problem year-round that's not related to allergies. All winter long, you're stuffy, you can't breathe, it affects your sleeping. You keep going to the doctor, trying this medication, that medication, maybe you're on steroids, or now they may want to scrape the inside of your sinuses out, which could create some permanent damage. What you have to realize is that you have a very delicate mucous membrane that lines the sinuses, and you have all these friendly bacteria that are there to protect against invaders. And when that imbalance occurs, many times you have an overgrowth of fungus. So this home remedy is especially effective for fungal infections of the sinuses. There was a small study in 2012, which I'll put a link down below, of 20 patients, and they found that there was a uh, shift in microbes, especially with this microbe right here, Lactobacillus sacae. And it just so happens that this friendly bacteria happens to be in kimchi, which is a Korean dish of fermented vegetables, which includes fermented cabbage, radish, onion, garlic, chili powder, and ginger. And there's a lot of different variations and different recipes for kimchi. But when you combine cabbage, radish, onion, garlic, chili powder, and ginger, and you ferment that, all the phytonutrients in these vegetables will have a major effect on pathogens. Antibacterial, antiviral, antifungus, anti-candida. You can actually start consuming kimchi. And I wrote down some brands that have this friendly bacteria present, or you can just take this friendly bacteria as a product itself. And here's a good brand, Lanto Sinus Probiotic Powder. And FYI, I'm not affiliated, I don't get any kickbacks from this company, but um, I have had people that had some pretty good success with it. If you decide to start consuming kimchi, which I highly recommend, there's a couple additional things you may wanna try. So what you would do is you would take a little bit of the fluid from kimchi, put it in a dish, and dilute it by 50%. Then what you do is take a Q-tip, take some of the fluid, and rub it into the inside of your nostrils. What that's gonna do is going to provide your mucous membranes with this bacteria. Now, some people can easily handle the fluid despite the chili powder. Uh, other people, it may um, create a very warm sensation. Depending on your willingness to give it a try, you might wanna dilute it first and just see how it goes apply it a few times a day over a week or two, in addition to consume kimchi to start building up the floral diversity that you need to help fight off this fungal infection. Realize that the fungus in the nose is the tip of the iceberg. The real problem is in your gut, and that's what you need to reestablish. All right, guys, give it a try and put your comments down below. Hey, we're back. With another amazing recipe. No brains, no sugar, totally keto. There's no suffering in keto. Absolutely not, Karen. And it's an immune system builder. Absolutely. You have to check this out. I think you should hurry up, watch the recipe, and make it yourself. It's just so easy to be keto. But is it simple? It's super simple. We hope you enjoy making it as much as we are enjoying eating it.